my side uh, Sidhaika and I'm the technical executive of SolidWorks Tech Savvy. So I will uh, present you the webinar on this topic uh, that is configuration with significant use of equations. Uh, well, uh, uh, today's point of discussions will be of uh, four uh, types. That is one, first will be the configurations, second will be the display state, third will be the equations, and fourth will be the significance of equations in configurations. What do we mean by configurations? Configurations allow you to create multiple variations of a part or assembly model within a single document. It provides a convenient way to develop and manage families of models with different dimensions, components, or other parameters. But to create a configuration, you can specify a name and properties, and we can also modify the model to create the design variations you want. In PAR documents, configurations allows you to create families of parts with different dimensions, features, and properties, including customs properties. Uh, in assembly documents, configurations allows you to simplify versions of the design by suppressing some of the components. And now, let me show you in the SOLIDWORKS. Uh, well, uh, I have created this part, okay? Uh, you can see uh, this is my part. And for this, I have created some of the uh, while you are uh, adding configurations here, you will put your configurations name. If you want to be used in the bill of materials, that uh, this part should be present in the bill of materials, then you can check these options using use in bill of materials so that it will be displayed in the bill of materials. Now, Part number displayed when used in a bill of address means uh, the name which you want to keep in the bill of address, that part name will be displayed here. Here, uh, you can also make it in a document name, configuration name, user specific name, which uh, according to your choice, which you want to make, okay? Now, use configuration specific color. Here, it will show you, uh, you can use uh, different color in different configurations. And uh, you can add also rebuild for the save command. Like I have also created uh, two configurations. In configurations one, you can see this this extra extrude I have done, and in part two you will see this one I have done. So um, by making this configuration, it will take less time and will save your data, and will uh, it will also save your time and uh, uh, the, if you are making any assemblies it will also reduce the size of the assemblies application the work is very much easy than creating one by one part okay now uh, this was about the configurations now i will uh, move on to the display state that i will show you you can also create uh, different display states here. It, it is uh, present in the configurations below the configurations. Uh, here you can make as much as uh, display state you want. Now I will show you one example. So uh, you can see uh, this is the injection mold. And uh, I want to create a uh, lots of display state uh, in this assembly. Okay, uh, I think you can see uh, this is the assembly uh, of an injection mold, and I want to create display state. In this, how to create is go to the right click, then create our display state. Okay. Uh, as the, uh, this is the default, I have not created anything in the default. Now, when I will go to the guide boost you will see that all other components are in wireframe and you can you can see the guide boost part only now if you will move on to the ejector pin you will see that uh, this uh, ejector pins are visible and all others are in the wireframe mode now uh, going to the locating ring you will also see that uh, this locating ring is going and uh, all others are in wireframe same as bottom pin 
guide pillar display uh, this one is the cavity display here you can see the cavity display now you will see the core display now top level transparency which has been created which has been added as a new features in the 2018 which was previously it was there but it was not working but in 2018 you can also use top level transparency where it will show you the inner parts also as i have created this top level transparency you can also see the inner parts also same in the wireframe you can see all the all the totally assembly i had made in the wireframe mode same for the bottom plate uh, removal and also top plate removal okay to so show you how to create it Okay, now I will create a display state. Suppose I will make this display state as okay. This is top level transparency. Now. when i will go to the main assembly and when i will right click and when i will do the top level tr transparency you can see it has been changed not only it has been changed but it has been also changed in the display state too okay like same i will do another display state that is okay now i will make this as the wireframe okay you can see this one is in the wireframe now you see this one is the is in the top level transparency and this one is in the wireframe like this uh, you will uh, you can make uh, as much as display state you want now uh, let's uh, move on the equations so uh, how to create a equations i will make a part now a small part so that it will be easy for you to understand okay One forty. This is one twenty. Okay. Now, how to create an equations? Now, suppose I will make a global variable that is uh, a. Okay. For that, for a, I will keep this as a. Uh, One sixty. Okay. Now again, I will go to the B. B. I will make two hundred. Okay. Now and and in A, I can also give this as a length, breadth, and in C. that is width or that is uh, how much you want to extrude in suppose c i will give a equation that is uh, that is a uh, uh, b minus a 
okay you got it as b is uh, having the value 200 and a is having the value 160 so you will it will be extruded to 40 and i will just make this as the width okay now I made this one 160 and uh, you, you you will also see that there is three types of con configuration that is this configurations all and specify so uh, if you want to create in this configuration so you will create this configurations okay now you can see the equation symbols has been made okay I will uh, put this uh, uh, B, B, minus A, okay? Now you can see in default I had kept how much uh, the equals uh, how much the uh, value was and now you will see in one it has been also changed you can also see by doing d1 okay now again i will give you another that is how to make in the design table how to make equations in the design table Okay. Okay. For that, I will uh, let me make some give some dimensions so that it will be easy for you to create in design table 140, and this one is 80. Okay. And uh, you want to extrude to 30. Okay. Now. When you will create a design table, blank means if you have not given any values, then you will select blank. If you have created any values, like if you have given uh, uh, dimensions, if you are also extruded in uh, giving some values, then you will create auto create. Or if you are having any files where you have uh, having lots of equations there, you can create from files. Now, when I will click on the tick you will see a, a excel has been created where it is saying that please select from the following dimensions to add to this new design table as i have created this two sketches and one boss extrude so that so i will check all the three now you can see that in default as this one is the default you can see it had already given the value that is uh, uh, the 140 80 and which i have extruded 30 less now i will create a configurations like uh, suppose this one i will create one two three four five okay now i will give this as 150 okay this one I will give us 40. Okay. Same I will create in every configurations. 
when I will create on click now you can see it gives the design table generated generated the following configuration that is one two three and four here also four configuration has been created now going to every configuration you will see there is different changes the changes are according to the value which i have given okay Again, I will repeat it that configurations are the main part of the design reuse. By, uh, by use of the configuration, you can create a different shape and size within a single part or assembly document. Now, uh, this one is the display state uh, where I have shown you the uh, injection mode. Uh, that is, in display state, you can show different display mode of assembly component without suppressing. If you will suppress, one thing you have to remember, that is, if you will suppress any part, then it will be get disturbed in the mid so uh, before suppressing you can uh, without suppressing you can hide that part okay. now uh, as i already shown and i will also show you how i have given one another equations well i have given uh, the, i had made this one and also i had given the equations you can see uh, this is the bold circles a uh, dia sketch okay and in the equation I had given that uh, flange or this cage. This is the equations, okay? Uh, flange or this cage plus uh, hub or this cage means uh, uh, the uh, length which must you are you are having in the flange and hub it will be it get added and it will give you the results. That is, uh, it will be display in the equations or this will be display in the same part. So equations is compared by giving equal sign is known as equations. It is a collection of some variables and constants. There are two types of variable in the equations and one is and one if one is dependent and other will be independent. Like for example, A is equal to 2B plus 3C. So here in here in this case, A is dependent to whom? To B and C. So here A is dependent value and BMC is independent value and uh, alas that is significance of equations in configurations so uh, in uh, uh, equations where, where we can apply that is we can apply equations in the SOLIDWORKS model creations and handling com configurations if we will uh, give the equations in the models it will be make our Creations and handling configurations more easier. No need to active each configurations one by one for dimension changes. Last, you can also create automate our configurations control through design table. So all these three things you can do in the equations. You can also change in the SOLIDWORKS model. You can also change this is in the design table and you can a design table which I had created in the Excel. And you can also automate your configurations by doing a control through design table. Thank you for giving me the valuable times uh, for uh, seeing this webinar.